children take out your geography book chapter 2 population dynamics today's topic areas of moderate density the following are some of the areas of the world that have moderate density of population now some areas of the world there are some areas of the world that have moderate density of population what does this moderate density of population mean moderate density of population means neither too much nor too less extremes of climate inadequate rainfall and absence of important resources do not increase then population in this region now extremes of climate what does this extremes of climate mean extremes of climate means when during winter it is bitterly cool and summer there is crouching heat inadequate rainfall that means uncertainty of rainfall and absence of important resources these do not encourage the dense population in this region central part of united states of america tropical western africa russia eastern europe japan plateau of india central china now areas of low density sparsely populated areas or the areas with low density of population include the arid region comprising of hot deserts and cool deserts of the world now sparsely populated that means less populated area or the areas which have very less density of a population what does it mean first of all it refers to arid region arid region refers to deserted region consists of hot desert hot desert you can say that is the hot deserts of india and cool deserts of the world now cool desert you can say that is the gobi deserts of china the huh? mountainous region and even the dense forest right? like those of hot and wet equatorial region insufficient and even land and water supply uh, along with lack of transportation unfavorable climatic conditions are responsible for the low low population growth in this region now if the land is insufficient if the arable land, land is insufficient and water supply is less lack of transport facilities and the climatic conditions are not in favor ah uh, is all this responsible for the low growth population growth in the city mongolia a uh, desert country in asia records the lowest population density of two people per square kilometer mongolia what is it it is a desert country in asia and what does it record it records the lowest population density that means in one square kilometer only two people live iceland suriname botswana namibia and northern canada are some of the other sparsely populated parts of the world australia also shows a poor density of population due to vast stretches of desert and remote and inaccessible interiors known as outback now australia what does it show it shows that this place has a very low density of population why it has low density of population because the desert area is spread in a vast area and there is remote it is remote and inaccessible interior these parts are known as the outback now overpopulation the term overpopulation means a very large number of people for the available resources now what does this overpopulation means it means too many too much amount of people that means a large large number of people are at the for the available resources in this region this happens due to a sudden increase in population or depletion of resources now why this happens because if the population increases suddenly or the population resources decreases suddenly a uh, situation of overpopulation may lead to high rate of joblessness poor standard of living and the rise of rise of uh, in occurrence of diseases poverty and poor environmental condition now a situation of overpopulation what does it lead to it leads to high rate of jobless that means people if the population is too much that means people have, have no job to or poor the condition the standard of living of the people are very poor and the, the occurrence of diseases poverty and even the environmental conditions are very poor area of bangladesh and china are some of the overpopulated countries of the world now some overpopulated countries of the world are india bangladesh and china in any given area the available, available resources are adequate to support a certain number of people in now in this area what happens this available the resources which are available they are quite adequate that they can support a certain number of people only this is referred to as a premium population and what is, it is only known as a premium population so if a premium population what happens the available resources they are adequate that they can 
support only a certain number of people. People, people with optimum population, they can enjoy high standard of living, and even the resources are sufficient for the utilization when people is, when the population is optimum. The ratio of population and resources in, and this ratio of people and resources is also well balanced. This balance is distributed, disturbed if the number of population is drastically higher or lower than the optimum population figure. Now, this if the number of people it is drastically higher or it is too lower than this optimum than the optimum population figure. An impact of overpopulation. Overpopulation may have severe detrimental effect on the economy as well as on the society. Now, overpopulation it may. So it may have severe detrimental effect that is of economy as in general on the society. The direct impact of overpopulation is the depletion of resources. Now, that what is the direct impact of overpopulation? That is the depletion when the resources get depleted. Mahatma Gandhi once said, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. Now, once Mahatma Gandhi has quoted the word, uh, the Earth has provided enough to satisfy everyone, every human being's need, but not every human being's greed. German economist E. F. Schumacher uh, also retired uh, advocating. Now, German economist E. F. Schumacher, he has also given that uh, advocating to that. Small is beautiful, that means if the less than you need is beautiful. It means that we need not use the resources of the earth so much that it cannot give space with natural limits. What does this small is beautiful? What does this refer to? It refers to that we need not use, we need not use the resources of the earth so much that it cannot give space with the natural resources. Overutilization of resources is creating water scarcity, food crisis, starvation, hunger, and poverty. Now, overutilization of resources, what does it create? It creates a water scarcity, food crisis, starvation, hunger, and even poverty. All the situations are going to worsen if we do not adopt sustainable measures of development. Now, these situations become more worse if we do not adopt the sustainable resource of measures of development. Further, overpopulation may create unemployment as there will be stiffer competition for fewer available jobs. Now, furthermore, what happens if overpopulation it can create unemployment if there is stiffer competition in fewer available jobs. It may, it may result in the growth of slums and unhygienic living conditions as availability of land to accommodate the rising population will be insufficient. Now, it may even play, result in the growth of some area. Even the area living conditions will be, become unhygienic because the availability of land and is, is so less that it cannot accommodate the rising population with this insufficient condition. With rising, with increasing demands and fewer supplies, prices of commodities will rise and cost of living will increase. Now, if the demand increases, fewer supplies, prices of commodities, it also will increase and the cost of living will also increase. It will result in more burning of fossil fuel and greater deforestation leading to global warming. And even it will result in the burning of fossil fuels and even the greater depletion, it may lead to global warming. Population pressure on the land will lead to loss of biodiversity. Now, population pressure, what will it lead to? It may lead to loss of biodiversity. This condition can improve through spread of education, awareness, family planning, advancement, healthcare benefits, and through sustainable methods of development. Now, how could this condition be improved? This could be improved if we spread education among awareness among the people, family planning, advancement, healthcare benefits, and even through some sustainable methods of development. Now, take out your diary, right? Chapter 2, Population Dynamics. Two pages, explain, homework, revise it. And with this, I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.